Lunar New Year continues to gain in popularity and size in Australia, but for many new Asian migrants, there's been no time for celebrations. They're too busy trying to make a new life in a strange new land. The long family from the youngest generation to the oldest is celebrating Lunar New Year. It's a big affair now, but when Patriarch Cheong Lung came to Western Australia in 1964 from Kuala Lumpur, there was no celebrating or family to celebrate with. The then 36-year-old had left behind a wife and six children so he could make the family's fortune in a foreign land. Perth uh, very quiet, very quiet city, because they uh, are lonely, uh, homesick, this one. <laughs> First time come there. It would be years before he was reunited with his wife and children. When we first arrived, the most valuable thing is letters from home. I would be very happy when I received letters from home. Telephone calls were so expensive that I needed to work for two or three days before I could make a call for a minute. Mr Long, now 86, worked as a cook in one of only three Chinese restaurants in Perth. He could only afford to bring one family member over at a time. That took seven years. Now I'm 50, I only realise how all that he sacrificed, what he sacrificed for us. We, we didn't realise, we just thought he's there working and then sending money home to, to us. In 1971, he opened his own restaurant with a local backer and stayed in the restaurant business until 1991. We grew up in the kitchen, do our homework in the kitchen, so, and that's how our life is. So, But looking back, it is like I'm a chef now, so it's like a bit of training for me as well. So, so it's all worked out good. Mr Lung's story and many other West Australian Asian migrants are being captured by the Chunghua Association. The association plans to record them in a booklet as well as online to preserve this slice of Asian migrant history. I am used to the life here. I wouldn't be able to fit in the life in Malaysia. I find it very noisy there. Not that it's particularly quiet here with such a large family. <laughs> but the Lungs aren't complaining. Ryan Emery, SBS World News.